Uh, I remember when I first heard about CrossFit, it was from one, from one of my friends who um, he's a ski instructor and he started talking about this thing called CrossFit and I trained at a conventional gym back then and I just thought it was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Like, kettlebell, what the fuck, and like an iron ball, I can't see it. And he got hospitalized with rep dorms. Right? And after he did that, I was like, okay, maybe there's something to it. And then I wanted to try it out, right? Yeah, you get up here and you see it, it, it maybe it, it might look ridiculous, but from, from when you look from it from the outside, but when you first get a, like, a, like a feel to it, it's uh, intoxicating in some sense, right? I was looking for something new after I was in gymnastics for a long time and I needed something competitive after that and I just tried different kind of sports and then I found this uh, this competition series in Iceland and a friend of mine signed me up for a CrossFit competition there and I pretty much fell in love with CrossFit after that. It was just, I had to start like hard really fast and it was exactly what I needed. There's so many different things to CrossFit uh, compared to compared to weightlifting, compared to running, compared to rowing. All these things are all included in uh, in CrossFit. There's so many things you can get better at, and that progression, that development, personal development, is what I think is uh, appealing to people. I would recommend CrossFit to to anybody though. When you enter your box, the spirit is that you give all you have. Like uh, some of the famous crossfitters will say that every second counts when you compete against yourself or against other people. I think the spirit in crossfit is, is really that you're, it's, it's an honest sport. If you cannot do a pull-up, you cannot do a pull-up. You, you have to really practice to uh, learn these skills, you know. go into a CrossFit class, you can't get out again. So if there's something you wouldn't normally do, you would, you would do it because it was written on the whiteboard. For me, the, the, the camaraderie of the community is a, is a, is a huge thing. It's, it's a huge thing of my own personal transformation. Uh, that's extremely appealing to me. I think CrossFit now is evolving into something really big. Of course, I hope I wanna, I'm gonna win the fit as fuck, but uh, it's tough competitor, elite competitors like Egidius and Lazy Kovac, so uh, I don't know, we will see. Let the work speak. I've been comparing this to the regionals. Uh, it's uh, pretty heavy things, like in the regionals also, uh, but it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, it doesn't matter what's come out, I'm just gonna do it all anyway. I got very, very good uh, ambitions to go to the games. Uh, we will see how it goes in the open and uh, hopefully, hopefully in the regionals. But of course, I want to go to the games. That's the that's the big goal. That's uh, that's true. I don't know if if uh, if Lacey is going to compete. Uh, this is all he is. That's uh, that's awesome. He he should have been there at the games with uh, with Miko and I this year. Um, the fact that he flunked out on the snatch was uh, was really unfortunate. Numi did really well at the game, so I'm and I'm really happy for him. But Lacey is a really well-rounded athlete, and I'm excited to see where where he can end up. I could could understand if uh, if Lacey has a lot of uh, a lot of appetite uh, after you know being so extremely close and losing his place at the games. You know, he he would also be a serious contender. He's a total beast. He has a huge capacity. He has a huge engine, and he's you know capable of maintaining an insane pace for a very very long time. 
but I must say my uh, my my money's probably going to be on Frederick again. I think uh, I think he's going to be in uh, really really good shape for the competition, and uh, I think he's going to do it again. He's going to smoke Lacey Kovacs once again. I have no doubt, no doubt. I all respect for Lacey Kovacs, but I, for the year, he's got my complete trust. Yeah. Uh, CrossFit has the uh, the opportunity to make it all the way to the to the biggest stage. And so we have two reps, two reps. On the back, so just so many reps we can we can up to. We're seeing gyms popping up all over Denmark, all over Europe, and the people who said a couple years ago, well, this fad is going to disappear within a couple years, have definitely been proven wrong. CrossFit is not a fitness trend because. Uh, it's hard work and uh, like, like I said, I've been here for two and a half years and everybody loves it. Everybody who walks in to CrossFit and finds find a new love. If you say something uh, is a trend, then you're saying sprinting is a trend, you're saying track and field is a trend, you're saying weightlifting is a trend. These ways of training have been around for a long, long time. What CrossFit have done is we have made it accessible to people. We're, we're definitely capable with CrossFit of offering a form of training and a community that people have been lacking. I think there's a lot of people in Scandinavia that have been doing so many sports growing up and we want something we want something more afterwards like something where you can ch keep on challenging yourselves and we're, we're getting it now with CrossFit <laughs> I'm a strong believer that at one point uh, Europe is gonna have a, a games winner <laughs> and I believe in the Scandinavians, for sure. My, my, I get in better shape every day and uh, my body gets better, I get more lean, uh, I can lift heavier things. Uh. I'm just gonna do my best and uh, we will see what's happened. Let the work speak. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's better weather, but it's gonna be fun anyway, so... I'm gonna rock. I can push myself as far as I possibly can. I can't blame anybody if, I, if I'm not good enough. I, only, I can only yell at myself and go back to the gym and train even harder. That's what I'm looking for, putting in that effort that will bring you to the top of the game. So judges, if you don't have athletes, come over to me. Very nice. Pretty tough, especially the Dublinners. Uh, shoulders are so sore now. Yeah, yeah, really hurt. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty hard. It's a lot of moving around. I prefer it a little bit heavier so you can allow yourself to slow down a little bit in the weights. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I had a new rope today. Um, it's a little lighter than the handles than my normal one. And it turned out to not be a good decision. Yeah. Um, my grip was fine, I just I just missed the timing. So. But yeah, it shouldn't change anything I can do today, but it's always good. Time! Coming up to the three minute mark. Keep going! The first, the first workout was awesome. I loved it. This was. Uh, Hard with the double unders, but it went out pretty well, I think. Uh, the jump rope just like broke, it's like just snapped and fly away. So uh, I just took the rope in the end and like start doing the double unders. It was pretty hard, but you know, you need to do what it takes to win. So yeah. just, just pick it up and keep going.
Premier Lucas Tiole Premier Lucas Tiole Eight reps behind Lisa Cole. Okay, so I think I placed third in the competition right now. Time, time, time! Oh my god. Great job! Awesome! Yeah, but, uh, I did fairly well. I managed to keep up with Lacey, and that was kind of my goal. Yeah. Come into it. It's his ladder. Yeah. So you would assume that he's pretty good at it, but no, he did a really good job. Yeah. And I couldn't have gone a, a lot faster. So I'm happy with it. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm really happy. It's a lot of fun, so that's why I'm here. So I'm very, very happy. Cool. Yeah. Okay, come on, man. <sighs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna do like a pretty slow pace because it's pretty heavy. Yeah, especially the high springs and pistols work out. Um, yeah, I think it's that would be okay. Uh, last one felt pretty miserable. My lower back was killing me. I spent too much energy on the second one. Burned out a little bit, so even though it was 135 pounds, I I crashed underneath it. So that says something. Like I just disposed of my energy wrong. First two went well. Last one, I shouldn't have let go of the bar. It's 135 pounds. You never let go of 135 pounds. Nice job. Hard work. First one with thrusters, get my thruster. It sucked in the legs. Very, very hard, but it came out really well and I could, could keep the pace up. Yes, we're gonna see what what the other guys are doing, but I think it went pretty well. Okay, huh?
Godt kæmpe. Ja, det er fint. Kirken til en lille røde. Very tough. Even tougher than the other one. I, uh, I couldn't uh, do the clean, squat clean unbroken. I had to uh, split it up and do it a single. So, no, that wasn't good enough. But the, the other two, yeah. You're holding the single. It was okay. For Butcher Slab, I think when you talk about comparing business to uh, the underground thing, I think it's really important for us to keep, try to keep the underground also, because this is what makes us what we are. The community, to, for us, is really important about sticking together and, and having a good time and in, in golf. So what keeps people coming to a CrossFit gym is the people at the CrossFit gym. The CrossFit box. That is uh, the main uh, main thing. If you don't have the community, then you don't have anything. I think when people they realize what CrossFit is and they're training it in a global gym, I think they they come to us. <laughs> uh, they don't have the capacity and they don't have the spirit. They don't have to you know the the thing that makes it CrossFit. You know? Very short, fast workout, so one mistake and you're out of it. <laughs> Not easy, but a lot easier than the two other ones, uh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I got three no reps in the overhead squats, and so few reps, such lightweight, you can't. You just gotta do the movement properly. Anything this short, you gotta you gotta be ready from the get go. No, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, fuck! Bad. Uh, my handstand push-up sucks. Really, really sucks. It's like in the really nose when I did Diane. It's just like stops in my shoulder because I weighed like 96, 97 kilos, so it's pretty heavy. I got long arms, 
this is a long way to go but I think it was fun of course I like CrossFit so they're better than me sure and this is my biggest weakness but uh, I think I think to the regionals it would be no problem no problem I just need to get better and have some push-ups that's it Yeah, they're gonna take uh, place one and two. I got no chance right now. But uh, in place three, I don't know. We'll see what's happening. But uh, you gotta stay positive and just go with the flow. Yeah, pretty much. So I know I know what I have to do. Hopefully, repeat what Numi did at, uh, at Regions. But uh, we'll see. Got to beat him. If I can't beat him in that, I'm not a worthy winner. Like, that's my workout. Like we've seen how much he's grown for the past two years, and I think it's just gonna keep on going in that straight line. It's gonna get bigger. We're gonna get more boxes. We're even gonna get higher quality in the boxes and. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going anywhere. I think the spirit of CrossFit is pretty amazing because you you help other people, even in a competition, you help other people, you talk about what you're doing. If someone has a pain somewhere, you try to tell them what to do to fix it, and you're like, you don't want other people to do bad. You just want yourself to do better, but <laughs> no. But you don't want anyone to fail in what they're doing. I want... I want everybody to, to feel the same way about CrossFit as I do. But I want everybody to, to feel the joy of getting their first pull up, getting their first muscle up, all those things that you can you can keep improving, and it's not only about sweating. It's about so much more, and improving your technique. It's, that's why we can call it a sport, and it's not just training. The community, the community is what makes CrossFit so good. When you've done a workout, and you don't know the person who is beside you, but you've done a workout that is so crazy tired after that you uh, lay on the floor and after that you have a like a connection it's amazing it's uh, after that you can talk about anything everybody everybody know everybody and we have a lot of a lot of throwdowns which means that people people meet we have a lot of barbecues a lot of different different things going on where people can, uh, can get out and, uh, and talk to one another and that's what makes it so much fun to go to these competitions. It's, it's basically like meeting up with family. In the community outside of the games, it's pretty amazing. Because you have this connection with people all over the world. Which is different than just going to a gym. You have, you have something in common. It's more of a lifestyle than just, than just a training system. in the men's final please check in with me or you want to just throw it down yeah. 
først, så kører du to power cleans, ja. der er 100. Ja. Fire push jerks. Ja. In the second power clean, can I just do like one power clean, drop it, run and like boom, boom. Oh, you want to go for the, yeah, yeah, if you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the jerk immediately. Yeah, it was very slippery for the feet with the prowler. Uh, the last were the 80 kilos on. I got stuck two meters from the line, so I thought Lacey Kovas was coming to get me, but I just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. I'm strong, man. I'm fucking strong. Yeah, it was awesome, very, very awesome to win over Agidis and Lacey Kovacs on the final event. Uh, I did everything unbroken, and it felt good. Just easy pace, always breathing. My coach was there, coached me, told me to what to do, and I just followed his lead, and uh, everything worked out pretty well. Go, Lacey! Come on! Perfect. Uh, I got in fourth. Um, Lucas Frederick and uh, Lacey got before me, and I got a fourth place. So I'm very happy for the fourth place. Solomon the caller. I was ahead by 30 seconds. Maybe even 45, but I can, can push it. I uh, I won the workout and then I lost it again. So I can't help but being really disappointed. So that's CrossFit. Yeah. It's the name of the game. But, uh, that's why we do it. For the competition, for the fun of it. So never, never gonna stop doing CrossFit. Never. Never ever. 
This is my dream. I do everything across CrossFit. Everything.